What's up, YouTube? Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. <clears throat> Clear my voice out. Before we begin, I'd like you guys to like the video, share the video, comment it down below, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. All right. Lately, the NBA has been getting a barrage of scoring from individuals. High score. Recently, we had Luka Doncic with 60. A couple days ago, Donovan Mitchell was 71. So, uh, I think Clay Thompson had 54 on the same night. So, there's been a lot of sc high scoring going on from individuals around across the league. Uh, Giannis has become the next person who's done it. Before this game, actually, he was averaging, uh, I want to say averaging, he was getting 43 and at least 15 rebounds, 10 to 15 rebounds a game for the last couple of games that he has played. Well, a game against the Washington Wizards the other night, he grabbed 55 and 10. So, yeah, I think that's his, uh, that's his career high. Um, the Bucks won 123 to 113, snapping the Wizards' five-game winning streak that they had. Uh, 55 points. Half of them probably all twos. But he had said, he had said something interesting after the game, post game. This is what he said. Uh, I wanted to get in position that my game is boring. I just do what I do. People don't talk about it because it becomes boring. I do it every single night. That's what I do. That's what I want to do, I should say. I want other people to fill my game, like my game is boring. But I don't get bored. The greats, the best players never get bored. They go out there and always give their best any given night. Spoken like a true competitor. Hmm. The reason I thought that was interesting is because, you know, how people have made spectacle of other people's scoring. Like Donovan Mitchell's and recently LeBron James getting 43 in back-to-back -back games. You know how everybody went crazy over that. Uh, I think that's what he's referring to. But for the last three games, Giannis has grabbed 40 points and 10 rebounds and 5 assists. Um... The only other players to do that in NBA history have three straight performances of 40, 10, and 5 are Elgin Baylor in 1961 and 1963, Wilt Chamberlain in 1963, same year, and Westbrook, Russell Westbrook in 2016. Yeah, I thought about it. First, I thought he had 55 and 24. I said, that's a, that's straight Russ, uh, not Russ, but uh, Wilt Chamberlain numbers. But no, he had 55 and 10. Now, the only other books to score at least 40 points in three straight games was Flynn Robinson in February 1969 and Kareem in 19, uh, 19, 19, 1972. So, um, most people who, who have seen him play, <laughs> meaning his teammates, have said this is probably his best stretch he ever has had. And I have a degree. Uh, I don't think he's done this. For all of his career, I think at right now, as of right now, he's averaging 32 and 11. I think he also had seven assists in that game last night. But yeah, right now he's averaging 32 and 11 rebounds and probably six assists the last time I checked. So there's been a lot of that going on right now. Uh, his previous career high was 52. Um, he also missed a single franchise scoring record that's owned by Michael Ray, who had 57 against the Utah Jazz some years back. Um, so, yeah, Chris, not Chris Milton, uh, Drew Holiday also returned last night. Only scored six, six points and 19 rebounds. I guess he was sick for the last few games. Probably had the flu because they said it was non vid related and Chris Millington still won't be back for the game against Toronto um, now I want to make a longer video a different video about all this scoring that's been going on because um, 
as much as a spectacle of seeing people score a lot of points lately, it's also getting kind of ridiculous. But I'm going to say that for another video for probably later today. Because as much as I like scoring, but I, I don't know. I'm feeling indifferent with all this scoring. But I'll speak about it later. But with all that being said, uh, tell me what.